God, if it's not you, if it's not you telling me to move. Because if they don't fit, they're going right back. It's going to be 60 degrees today. I'm in shock. I am in shock. Good morning. Welcome back to another day in the vlog. It's BMG where we vlog family, food, and travel TV. I hope you're doing well. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you are returning to the channel, welcome. We're starting off the week, getting ready to cook, meal prep for the first few days of the week. And I have to run to Walgreens first and foremost to pick up some Downy Unstoppables. I love when they have the four for 10 sale. Just running a few errands, going back home, and just gonna get some things done. So, Come on. All right, I want to pick up the Downey Unstoppables. They are four for 10. Of course, this location does not have any. They don't have them marked. They only have one. So that's not going to help me at all. I know it was too good to be true. And that was a waste of time. I don't need anything else out of here. I'm going to put this cart back and get up out of here. The employee said they had just got a truck in and they were short on workers, which is a common problem. Um, she said to call back tomorrow. <laughs> no, I want to go to a different location to see if they have the Unstoppables because I love the Downy Unstoppables in my laundry. Let me know what scent beads you use. What's your favorite? I'm going to get some of them scent beads. It's four for 10. They go a long way. They last a long time and I can share those. I guess I'll run into this Kroger and see what sale items they still have left. I love to shop the sales. That's how I stay stocked up on most of my groceries. And I usually just pick up fresh meat every week. But we're going to try to do 75% veggies and fruit this week. We are back in the car. What's a Kroger? And now we are headed home. It is sunny out here. It's going to be 60 degrees today. I'm in shock. I am in shock. 60 degrees? I'm all for it, though. I don't have anything to do but enjoy this sunshine. The sunshine just makes me feel so much better. Minute Maid brown and wild rice. We got two of those, some fresh chicken here. We got fresh ground chuck, turkey bacon for the week to go with our boiled eggs and or oatmeal for breakfast, a green pepper, just cool strawberries. Back here we have our sassy bites. I've been loving these lately. At first I didn't like them and now I love them. So we have the sassy bites, which I haven't tried I usually get the hot, and then these are the dilly bites. We got the red bear and frozen pizza, something quick to throw in the oven. Fresh spinach for salads or smoothies. Classic garden for a salad. We picked up zucchini, avocado, red peppers, yellow peppers. We don't buy the orange peppers. Our yellow onion. Some quick mashed potatoes that I doctor up. I'm not making any fresh this week. Green Granny Smith apples. Slice those up, take those to work, or put them in my green smoothie. Got some more Ritz crackers, some cuties. I got some organic peppermint soups, the belly tea. I don't like tea, but I can stomach the peppermint tea when I'm having belly aches. So if I just want something warm, Easter baskets to try. And brand. We got our bananas. We got our DIY Starbucks mochiato with our oat milk. Um, some more orange juice, of course. And some eggs. This is the haul. We're at Walmart and I'm looking at the cologne and perfume. They have the dossier here. The whole line is here. And I want to try one. I keep hearing the floral honeysuckle is a good one. And they have the um, woody sandalwood and the woody things. I don't know which one I want to get. And the fruity almond, which they only have one left. I don't know. I gotta think about it, because I don't just want to spend like 30 or $40, and then I'm not sure of how it really smells on me. I would like to have a sample. 
So y'all let me know if you're a dossier fan, or if you have that perfume, let me know what your favorite is. I have our vegetable stir fry with our sausage here. This is a spicy sausage. You can use the sausage of your choice. We're gonna do two yellow bell peppers, two red ones. This is one zucchini I would use too. I put a little bit of the body of minced garlic it's right down in the middle. I'm also using these seasonings, the original Kings for original no salt, everyday Trader Joe's seasoning, black pepper, and a little bit of garlic salt. I just want a little bit of this flavor here, although we're using some minced garlic and olive oil. These are the seasonings. So really light, it's a low carb meal. You can add brown rice to it if you wanna put it over a bed or something. This is one of our favorites. I just cook it for about 15 minutes on a medium low heat after I season it and it is delicious. So this is what we're gonna be having. I'm going to be doing mostly fruits for breakfast and my smoothies and my boiled eggs and or oatmeal or multi-grain Cheerios. I'm adding three Granny Smith apples to my blender as well as some strawberries and a half a banana. Frozen strawberries. This is a four pounder from Sam's. So I'll do probably two or three handfuls because I'm not doing any kale or spinach. I don't know why I'm doing frozen strawberries when I just bought a carton of fresh. Half of the banana. Banana is a natural sweetener. Um, if you put in a whole one, it's a little bit too banana-y for me, banana-ish. I'll eat this one. I'm gonna add about 10 ounces of water. This is room temperature because my strawberries are frozen and I want this to blend well. Again, you can do four ounces of orange juice and four ounces or six ounces of water. You're just gonna need about eight to 10 ounces base. And I'm trying to cut um, unnatural sugars. So I'll be using just the water. I'll also be adding some ground flaxseed to mine. And in the meantime, we are cooking our vegetable medley. For dinner, this is the brown and wild rice. And we are going to smother this with our peppers. Looks so good. Gotta get some of that sauce from the bottom. And that is dinner. I just wanted to show you all quickly what I got. First, let's start with the shoes from Target. They did have one last pair in Target in my size. So, so let me get these. Again, these are the Steve Madden dupes. They're by A New Day from Target. Because if we can save some coins, we're gonna save some coins. They're cute too. Here they are. Just a little like everyday sandal or a cute little vacation shoe. I was about to undo the buckle right here, but you don't have to because it is Velcro and adjustable. But they're flexible, the sole's kind of thick. How 
hopefully they'll be supported. And I have skinny feet, so they fit just right on them. So I'm very happy with the purchase. We saved up some sh money. Even if I don't wear these all the time, even if they fall apart tomorrow, we still save some coins. They're cute. They're worth what the purpose is for. We also got from Amazon. Smartwatch dupe. The regular price was 79. I'm gonna put it right here. And I think we paid 20 some dollars. I think what it was is I was anticipating paying forty dollars because Mama told me she paid forty dollars for hers from Target. So I think that was the budget. But I ended up finding something much cheaper, and all I needed to do is tell me what time it is and check my workouts. That was literally all I was using my Apple Watch for anyway. As long as it can do that and last me a while until I decide if I want to get a new Apple Watch, that's what we're gonna roll with. I like the big face, it's a 1.85. It gives the illusion. Who's gonna know? Who's going to know, right? Morning, happy hat day. Hey. Happy, I like your hat. Good morning. I have a hat on my coat. You gonna, oh, it's on your coat. Morning, happy hat day, man. I woke up this morning and I was having a talk with Jay. You know, just about our goals. It's a new month. It is March 2nd. It's Saturday. I think it's the 2nd. But every month, you know, you see all these resets and new goals, new all this. You already know how I feel about goals. I always have obtainable goals, small goals, because that's what works for me. The smaller the goal, the more I know that I can accomplish it. This year, I'm in a season of really trying to hear God and what he has for me, what he wants for me. I want to make sure I'm serving in the right place. I want to make sure I'm working in the right place. I want to make sure I'm doing the right things all the time, considering God first. And it's easier said than done. We're always just moving and shaking and doing things. And if you're a believer, yes, we always consider God. We always say, yes, we're going to put God first. But do we really put God first? So this is what I've been asking myself. Do I really put God first in everything that I do? I want to. I want to hear God so clearly that I know that I know that I know in my heart that I'm where I'm supposed to be. Where I'm supposed to be working, serving, doing, moving, shaking, baking, everything. And um, sometimes when I ask and pray to God for things, and I'm like, I don't know. Like, I'm in that moment where I don't know. Like, God, is that you? Like, seriously, this is a vulnerable moment. It's like, God, is that you? So many times I'm like, I feel like God is moving me to do this. I feel like God is moving me to do that. And he does and he will. And I'm usually right about it. When we're making big decisions in our lives, we're trying to figure out if it's really God that's telling us to do it and not ourselves. Like, I want to lean on God and his understanding. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not into my own understanding. I want to make sure that it's God telling me. I want to know that I know that I know you want to buy a new house and you're praying about it. And you're like, God, is that you telling me yes? Or is that you telling me no? We have to be really, really careful to make sure that it is God and not ourselves and not this person over here, not our friends, not our sisters and our brothers, not our cousins. We have to make sure that it really is God because we don't want to make a move without God. That's the last thing we want to do is make a move without God. God, if it's not you, if it's not you telling me to move, I don't want to do it. So I am praying for clarity. I have a bunch of goals that I'm trying to reach. I have a bunch of little milestones that I'm smashing so far this year. I'm in that phase where I'm working, I'm focused. And if God ain't in it, I don't want it. I don't know if that's just me, but let me know how y'all feel about that. Because one thing I know... God comes through for me every time. And if he never does another thing for me in life again, it's sufficient. Okay. But um, don't be out here moving without God. Do not move without God. If he ain't say go, don't go. Don't go. There's no safety in it. So if you're trying to make a big decision, if you're thinking about something, you got to see God first and make sure. Make sure it's God telling you to move. It's God telling you yay or nay. All right, because that's all you got at the end of the day. Hey, sir. 
Why you always gotta jump up on me? You like the smell? You like that? Mmm. You can't. You can't lick it. You can't lick it. You can't. Liam, this boy is something else. Y'all hear me? So I have on the new um, Dazier. It is the floral marshmallow, and I sprayed it on my wrists and my arms. And I guess, I guess he must like the scent. You like that? No kisses. No kisses. Just rubs. Just rubs. I'm up here chilling with this blanket, my favorite little blanket. About to watch Love is Blind. Whew. New season, new duties. We just got out the shower. Freshly washed hair. There is nothing, absolutely no product on this hair. You can see the little drips on my shirt right here. That's how you know it's wet. It's wet. Length check. If anybody cares, I wanted to test out this new product, the Umbrush. We're going to see if it really works. I've been seeing so many reviews on TikTok and I was sold by one review, but I had to try it for myself because if it worked for them, if it worked for her and her and her and him, I want it to work for me in my house because we got a lot of hair going on. So let's see. No product. Freshly washed hair. We're going to see if it works. Let's see if it does the thing. Umbrush. I got it on sale, it was like seven bucks, including shipping. So we're gonna see what it does. It's really light, light brush. And I'm trying to make this quick. We got it in blue. Now I do have curly hair. If you all know me, you know it's, it's curly, pretty curly. We're going to see. Let's start with the top. Let's start with the top. I should have brought some rubber band clips in here. So we're gonna start on this piece right here. This piece right here. No product, wet. Wow. Roots. Hold up, disclaimer. The top of my hair is much finer than the sides of my hair. So we're gonna see. First pass from the roots. What? Hold up. Cause it gets thicker in the back. They are not lying about this brush. Let's try the back. You see how it's the curl pattern's tighter back here? How the hair is kind of thicker? Let's try. What? Look at this umbrush, y'all. you if I was brushing with a regular detangle brush I would have to start from the end and work my way up go get it go get this brush whoa I'm 
all shook it. All right, we are halfway through. Halfway through this crochet. None of the back is done. None of the back. We washed, we detangled, we oiled our scalp, we did a blow dry, we braided. We're halfway through this crochet. We can do it. Family, we are getting something to eat. It is so pretty today. What's the temperature, babe? It's uh, 68. 68 degrees out this mofo, right? I just finished my hair. Well, what y'all think? You like it? If he likes me. it, if I like it, if she likes it, the, hey, we're rolling with it. You say, hey, babe. Little. Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> How y'all doing? I hope y'all doing good. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, um, this black ice. No, I'm playing. Dang, why you guys slap, slap the black ice like that? What did you do to you? <laughs> it's always in the way. <laughs> no, we're getting some lunch. We're going to go eat our food in the park. It is so nice. We're eating in the park. And then we're going to get our god mom uh, her birthday gift. And then grocery store. But I'm not taking y'all to the grocery store because I know we already had one at the beginning of the vlog. But this is what we do on a regular. We go to the grocery store, we cook, we eat. We do a little bit during the week, sometimes it's more. And then we start all over again. It is like Groundhog Day. Eat, sleep, work, repeat, right? Yep. Literally. If you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Can you please share this vlog out? We are getting so close to one of our milestones. Yay! Shout out to all of you over on the TikTok side. If you've come over here to the YouTube side, we are at 3,700 over on TikTok. Yay! And we're reaching for the 2K here on YouTube where we love, 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 love to vlog and engage with our family. Right, babe? Mm -hmm. Right. Hopefully, well, soon we do have a trip coming up, but we're not going to tell you where. We're not going to tell you when, um, but it's coming up soon. And spring break is, when is spring break? That's a good question. Spring break, no April 1st. April 1st. April so, Fools? That whole week, April 1st through the 5th. Wow. So, we're on the countdown. We only have 11 more Mondays. If I don't count tomorrow, we only have 10 more Mondays of school left or 51 days. And that's huge. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready like Tevin Campbell. <laughs> I'm ready. Where's our food? Did they have to go and get the animal? <laughs> <laughs> I did hear a cow go move. What's up? So, it's, oh, here we go. Here we go. Thank hey, you thank so you. much. Light on time. He's an on time guy. Yes, he's. We got our food, but so we're missing the drinks. The Dr. Pepper and her water. We can't eat at the park with none a drink. They gave us a big old cup of. Is the receipt attached? Yeah. They know we here. home it's so beautiful outside i did not want to come back in but we were able to pick up the birthday gift we picked up a nice card the card is so beautiful now for me i don't care about receiving an expensive card for me cards don't matter but i know for a lot of people they do like i don't care how much you spend on the card i don't care about the quality of the card i care about the words in the card and i do keep every card i receive I don't care how much it costs though. To me, it's paper. 
um, the words mean the most, you can write me a hand note and that'll mean more to me than anything because you took the time to do it and to write from your heart. So we did get a nice card. We're all gonna sign, write our little love notes in there. We got an Ulta Beauty card and the TJ Maxx card where you can shop at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. Let me know if you shop at Sierra. Do you have a Sierra near you? I just realized we have one on the other side of town, so I really need to get there. I've never been to one before. But we got these. We also got red roses that I want to fix up there in water right now. But look how pretty. Let me move the card before it drips. But look how pretty these are. So I'm in here debating whether or not I want to put it in a vase or if I want to just deliver it like this with a bottle of Stella Rosa and the gift cards. I'm thinking that that might be a move. I'll just put the gift card in here and deliver with a bottle of Stella Rosa. Or do I want to put them in a glass vase? Do I want to cut them and put them in a vase? Right now I have them in one of my vases just so they'll stay hydrated. But that is the gift. Ooh, don't cry. But that's the gift. As soon as I get that together, it's on to another week. Another week in the life. I hope you've all enjoyed the vlog. And if you've made it this far, I appreciate you for coming back over and over and over. That's true dedication. And I love you for that. Yeah, I hope you have an amazing abundant field blessed week please hit the like button comment subscribe you know i want to talk to you in the comments right appreciate you so much until the next one be blessed be safe and we'll see you soon bye